Sunday, January 30th, 2022, marked two years since the outbreak of COVID-19 was declared a public health emergency of international concern by the World Health Organization Director General. On March 11th, 2020, the outbreak of COVID-19 was declared a pandemic. On that same day, St. Lucia confirmed its first case of COVID-19. Since then, over 20,000 cases have been diagnosed with over 300 deaths recorded. Public health officials have managed five waves, each wave with its own peculiarities and challenges, requiring the institution of numerous and differing measures and policies to best manage the ever-increasing number of confirmed cases. The establishment of a contact tracing process, the isolation quarantine facilities, the establishment of the home monitoring of isolated cases at home, the issuance of guidelines to workplaces and the private sector, the setting up of a respiratory hospital and respiratory clinics, the commencement of a COVID-19 vaccination program, are some of the measures instituted to help manage the COVID-19 pandemic. As we enter another phase in the management of this pandemic, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs today announces changes to the discharge process for individuals diagnosed with COVID-19. The letter of discharge from isolation or clearance letter as it is commonly referred to will no longer be issued by an official from the Ministry of Health for the workplaces. All persons tested either because they were symptomatic or were identified through the contact tracing process are issued a sick leave document. The sick leave is a legal document which indicates the number of days of isolation from work and the day that individual is fit to return to work. For persons who have had no symptoms throughout the isolation period, they are fit to return to work once the sick leave has ended and they are free of symptoms. For persons who have been experiencing symptoms and continue to be symptomatic after the sick leave has ended, they should remain at home and not return to work unless directed and or assessed by a healthcare provider. The Ministry of Health and Wellness solicits the understanding, cooperation and support of the St. Lucian populace as we continue to manage this pandemic and strive to ensure the health and safety of everyone. <music>